Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about ApeCoin and what exactly happened. Um, and I wanted to give a quick TA uh, just to see where, where I think that it's going because it still has a lot of, bull I, I still think it has a lot of bullish momentum um, to the upside. Um, although on the four hour, um, it does, it, it did give it early signs of a bear trigger on the four hour for Ape. So that's one thing that I'm kind of worried about. Oh wait, I mean, ah, I'm using the wrong settings here. There we go. Yeah, so it is showing a bear trigger on the four hour, which I'm a little worried about because uh, generally on the four hour, we tend to get really big pushes to the downside. Um, and again, you're actually at uh, resistance right now, right? Essentially, you're at resistance of $14.25, which is major, major resistance uh, for for a coin right there. Um, should probably add what are we in in the four hour no it's, i'll leave the fibs for right now it's really just i mean i don't want to use too much support and resistance because we already have the the fibonacci and it's been doing sort of okay um so going back to what happened here so phase two actually played out or scenario two actually played out right because the last time we actually did a ta on this it was back on march 22nd so yesterday i think yesterday morning um we actually had, uh, again, like I was saying before, we had the, we, these lower highs continuously getting created on, on ApeCoin. And I thought, one, I thought scenario one, it was going to push to the upside here, or it was going to push up, come back and retest, push up, and break bullish channel up here, right? And that's exactly what we did. We ended up following scenario two. And I think we might see a, I think we might actually end up seeing a similar pattern play out right now. Um, because we do have some similarities that that are uh, that are resembling uh, what happened yesterday. I can, why can't I delete this? Whatever. Um, so it does seem like the same thing might play out here. I do think that because we are in another bullish, uh, officially in another bullish channel, we are going to be closing a 15-minute bull trigger right now. Essentially, a perfect entry. Uh, you know, last time this happened, we ended up running from 13 cents. I'm sorry, from $13 all the way to $14 and like 46 cents. Um, so I think from right here, we can possibly see a move um, to maybe $15, $15 and two cents. Uh, sorry, $15 and like 20, 25 cents. I think the next area uh, that we can possibly run to, um, especially bouncing off that 50 MA, right? So I think the next area we can possibly see is actually a push towards fifteen dollars and so somewhere around this area so another break of channel right here that's where i think we can possibly be uh be moving to so i think because again we keep making these lower these lower highs right you keep making these lower highs on, on ape so you have first one second one this will possibly be uh the third one right what we do not want we actually did break did we break this low let me see this relative low i don't want to be i don't want to break this low 13 5 9 8 5 13 5 9 90 yeah we did not oh actually we we did not break um this relative low right here and we're and we're, we're already creating a 15 minute bull trigger so all right two things that can i, I think again are possibly going to happen one we push to the upside from here Right, somewhere around this area, somewhere like right here, somewhere like maybe closer to fifteen dollars or so. You break channel, right? Which would be the best, which would be the best thing that I can possibly think of, hopefully. Or you actually come up, go to trend, come back down and retest trend. The only other thing that I can see right now, unfortunately, is let me move this a little bit over here. We'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. The only other scenario that I can see happening right now, because we do have that four hour, um, that four hour potential trigger, right? Which is going to be closing in one hour and 20 minutes, which is, you know, I don't want to actually have that close, but it seems like it probably will. The only thing that I can see happen right here that's completely negative for us would be for this to rally a little bit higher to here, create a head and shoulders pattern like that, and then drop. And then potentially this going all the way back to something like like twelve dollars and like fifty cents. So major, I think major resistance would probably be yeah somewhere around twelve dollars and like sixty ish cents to 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 retest this area right here, um on on this side and we can extend that out by looking at the hour. So. 
The only thing that I can possibly see is uh, in, in, uh, impacting this in a negative way is more than likely dropping this somewhere right here to retest, right? So something like this. So I think if we actually end up closing this four hour, depending if we actually have a lot of momentum on this uh, on this four hour sell trigger, because uh, this is this is essentially if it closes right, we would consider this a perfect sell, perfect sell and perfect sell entry right now on the four hour. Again. We did consider a perfect sell right here, right? And that actually got completely canceled and it kept pushing. So I'm really hoping that happens again with Ape around this area. Um, it seems like we are going to be closing a 15 minute bull trigger. So this definitely has to pump really hard to the upside. But again, there's kind of three scenarios playing out right here, right? There's 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 kind of a lot of there's a lot of stuff that can happen right now uh, for Ape. We either create a head and shoulders pattern and come right back down on that four hour trigger. We come back up here. We don't break this relative high, right? Of what, like fourteen dollars in forty-eight cents. Come back and retest it. Go all the way back down, or we just go and, and we break completely to the upside. Personally, I think uh, because we do have a lot of momentum right now on the bull side, I think we're going to go straight to trend, and I, I think there's a better chance of us either breaking to the upside or going straight to trend. Create a new, creating a new higher high somewhere around the 14.8, possibly 15.2 area. Maybe we wake up there, come back down to retest trend, and then do this thing all over again. Um, ideally, I would like for us, uh, for Ape right now, to push and break channel. Um, if we do have a lot of bullish momentum, I think that can definitely happen. And we're, and we're getting set up um, to actually do something similar to that. So... Um, the last time we actually had this little stochastic on the 30 minute, we were in, we you know we went from where we are now, we were at eleven dollars and five cents, right? And now and we went straight to fourteen dollars and and fifty cents, right? So we did we did a full run from eleven fifty to around fourteen like fourteen five. So we did what a three dollar move. So if we end up going a little bit lower on the stoke. And then we end up doing a similar move. We would end up at what? We would end up at thirteen fifty plus three, like sixteen dollars and fifty cents. So somewhere like all the way up here. By the end of that, by the time the stochastic is all the way back to the upside on the eighty level on the Stoke. So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely more. I mean, I'm definitely biased because I have a position in eight, but it looks like it has a lot of. Uh, you know, bull momentum, and it does look like it wants to keep running to the upside. And and again, if it if it, if it ends up breaking this this bullish channel and runs again, um, I think it'll probably hit closer to to fifteen twenty five to sixteen fifty. So there's a big range that it can go to, um, you know. But again, that's depending on 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 the break of the bullish channel. But it seems to be getting a lot of volume, um, and it seems to be it, it seems to it seems to want to be. Uh, to continue to run to the upside by a lot, right? So again, possible scenarios that can happen. There's a lot of things going on, and there's a lot of things that I can that can keep pushing uh, ape to the upside. But I think the most likely scenario is that we actually run to trend, right? At least touch it, and then possibly come back down. Ideally, I would very much want this bullish channel to break, and we keep running. But I think right now, the most likely scenario is that we go up, push the trend, and then possibly come back down to retest trend um, all over again. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm still bullish on Ape. I still think it can run, hoping that it actually uh, uh, runs above this uh, bullish channel, breaks it, and we head somewhere between 1525 to, to 1650, which would, be, which would be pretty awesome. And I think that would actually push us in, in really, really, really good territory since we passed the FIB. At fifteen dollars exactly, I think if we do cross that, create candles above here, I think the next level for us is probably going to be more so eighteen dollars. So I do think if we break this bullish channel, we're going to be really, really, really well set up to run all the way uh, to eighteen bucks. And then after eighteen dollars, have I think after eighteen dollars gets hit, and we actually start closing candles above that, I think the next level is going to be. 26 bucks but we'll see what happens so far the 15 minute is playing out pretty well 30 30 more seconds for this to close and i would consider this in, in a perfect entry on the 15 minute so i'll see you guys later have a great day we'll see what happens Bye bye